Gentleman's time has expired. The question is on the amendment offered by the chair, Ms. Crockett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, the, the point of deciding that we need to release this audio is, is really simple from my analysis. Um, this is an opportunity for your party to take an opportunity to try to mock the current president. I know a lot of people refer to the former president as president, but we have one president at a time, and that is Joe Biden. And seemingly, this type of attitude and position has come straight from the top. Um, this idea of lacking all decorum, decency, has left the building when the stench of Donald Trump showed up. Um, and so we've seen constantly from him how he mocks people. We've seen in this committee how different members want to mock other members. And that's all this is about. But what is so frustrating to me and what should be frustrating to the American people and the reason that really all y'all should lose y'all's jobs, but why we are going to take the majority is simple is because we showed up ready to work earlier today, like we always do. And now it is currently 10 p.m. and we are still here because we are committed to doing the right thing. And my question is really simple. It's a matter of if this was such a big deal, if it was a matter of an emergency, if this was so important as it relates to whether or not the President of the United States has done something so wrong, then why is it that we couldn't have our hearing at 11 o'clock this morning instead of members being in a criminal courthouse with a twice impeached, over 88 count indicted, sexual abuser, instead of being here to do the work of the American people if this was serious? This is the reason that people don't believe Mr. that we are doing Mr. serious Mr. Chairman, work point of order, here. I'd last, I'd uh, ask the, state your point. My, my point of order is this. We just, we, 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 she just engaged in personalities about a former president, which we, you, can't you engage just in reviewed, with no, a former you president. just that is reviewed the, the rules, and, and, and you know that it's true. If you were on the floor, you would be admonished. You know that. That's not the rules. That's not the rules. Right. That point of order would not be in the case. That what? Mr. Chairman, I'll further say. If this happened yeah, on right, the floor, right. you would be it, admonished by it, the your, parliamentary. Your, your point is, is correct. No, no. The, uh, the, you, you made an, in this circumstance, you made an announcement, I believe, that points of order about insulting presidents or former presidents are not in order in this hearing because you, you're, I, I take it, you're going after Joe Biden. And so. I, I gave it to him. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think you carved out an exception to that rule. Okay, point of order overruled. Ms. Crockett, finish, please. I'll yield the remainder of my time. To my right, thank you. Would, would my friend yield to me? Yes, I'll yield the remainder I th of my time. I thank the gentlelady. <clears throat> you know, originally we have a motion, the, an, an ANS, to, to hold the Attorney General in contempt because he did not produce one item, an audio tape, of the transcripts that were provided in full. And we decided, apparently, that that was what we were going to do because we're not sure about our chances in a court of law, which is really where this needs to be adjudicated. Now we have an amendment to the ANS taking cognizance of the development today in which the, the White House, not an unusual development and not always justified, invokes executive privilege. Now, that is as old as the Republic. In fact, the first president to invoke executive privilege was George Washington, who did not want to provide uh, documents regarding the Jay Treaty because it was controversial and might embarrass the White House. Um, and we have had ups and downs with respect to executive privilege ever since. But the proper venue for adjudicating this is in a court of law. It isn't this committee. And so now this amendment to the amendment is essentially holding a attorney general in contempt because they're invoking executive privilege to protect uh, information they, they choose not to provide the Congress. Um, and I find that a very narrow basis. 
And I can understand why you don't want to have this adjudicated in a court of law, because I don't know that any judge would find that we have substantial reason uh, to hold somebody in contempt for noncompliance. I thank the gentlelady for yielding. You yield back. I yield the remainder to the ranking member. Um, and, and I yield back to you, Ms. Okay. Crockett. Then I yield. Thank you. The question is now on the amendment offered by the chairman. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed signify by saying no. No. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it.